<laughs> oh my god, he's back again. Yes, I need what's going on? Theo here, bringing the pain on the content train. I hope we're feeling good, and uh, if not, then let's see if I can't help you get there. Today I've got a tidy trifecta of cardboard cuboids to whack open. Box 55, one Hanley Street, Nottingham NG15 BL UK. <gasps> Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> so, box the first comes from our mate Ian down in Kent. Cheers for this. He did say he'd sent something in my way, but he didn't tell us what it was because he knows how I feel about spoilers. So, let's pop this. Uh, I've decided to name this thing Emily because it is blunt. Your Royal Fuse News is. <laughs> we met at TF Nation in 2018, I remember it well. Only a small package here. Oh, come on. You've done something nice, don't diminish it. I believe I promised to buy you a pint at TF Nation 2019. Great, I'll leave my wallet at home then. Brilliant. Keep up the good work, it's been great watching the channel grow. Yay, thanks Ian, it's nice to have you on board, mate. So let's see what we have. Oh, hello there. It's Armada Hotshot, way. <laughs> He's always good for a giggle, this one, isn't he? I think I've got four of these now. <laughs> Is there a way to make his feet pop open? Because it's spring-loaded, but I feel like I'm forcing it. Oh, it's that you pop the gun in, don't you? Oh, he'll survive, he's been through work. Hot shot is indestructible. Oh, what a mess. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a janky ass toy. I love him so much. I love his gormless face. That's the kind of energy I'm trying to bring. <laughs> Oh, 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 spiritually, this is me. <sighs> My fourth Armada hotshot. I should probably do something about that, shouldn't I? I've got two of the Armada one, one a Micron Legend hotshot, and I've also got the uh, the red one, the Unicron Battles one. Might have to do a cheeky hotshot hoedown a bit later on, but it'll just be the Armada one. <laughs> just four of him. I could just shoot one section and repeat it four times. Get it up to 18 minutes. Ooh, wait, this is some kind of star scream. Is this the Cyberverse one? I've heard this is terrible. Not a great first impression. <laughs> what, how does this? Oh, that flops out that way. Okay, uh, yeah, not great. Is that what this does? Is that its gimmick? Just its wing flaps a bit. That is uh, less than stellar, I have to say. <laughs> yeah, not really into this one, good. God, look at that. Oh boy, that is uh, suboptimal. Pardon my French. Still, the head sculpt's cool, the colors are nice, but yeah, not ideal. I'm kind of starting to sour on the Cyberverse toys. I think I got pretty lucky in the beginning with Shockwave because he's actually all right. But like, this is trash, and that Bumblebee, the uh, Hive Swarm one, was also very flaky. Or is it like that? It can't be like that. Ugh, just pap. Pure pap. Oh, uh, cheers anyway, and it's not your fault, you shit, is it? <laughs> and one further item. Ooh. Ugh. Hey, look at this. It's flipping Super Gobot's leader one. God, this is ultimate. I love this figure, man. I do have it, but one of his wings is really floppy. So this is quite a severe improvement. Look at his... Pure chrome, wow. God, I love this figure, man. I will fight anyone any day of the week that this is a better toy than G1 Starscream. Because look, it's still a cool jet, it still turns into a cool robot, and you don't have to take it to bits. Wow. That is in extraordinary condition. <laughs> Plus, he loves America. That is a class act. I love Leader One, man. He's so heavy as well, Christ. Like, this whole bit is all metal. It's better than Starscream, sorry. Plus, he has comedy penguin mode. There you go, world shittest girl walk. God, I don't want to be the guy who's like, eh, old toys were better, mate. They don't make them like they used to. But like, this is 2018, and it's a flimsy, awful, empty bag of crap. This is from, what, 15, 16 years? Years ago, and it's kind of dumb, but it's got springy stuff in there. It's heavy, it's dense, and this lad cannot move for shit, but it feels great. Oh, Brill, thank you, Ian. What a nice little box. Now, let's bang open this big old ball bag and see if we can't crack the nuts inside. And this looks like it's come from uh, Phil up in Scotland. God, I failed to get to another gig this month. Flipping heck. I discussed this with a couple of dudes ages ago. We were going to go to the uh, Terrorvision reunion gig because like, I used to love Terrorvision when I was like 14, but I kind of forgot all about them in the meantime. And I think most people did as well. But now they're doing this big anniversary tour and the lads were like, come on, get your ticket quick, you dickhead. And I'm just like, yeah, what? it's not gonna sell out, is it? Whatever. And it sold out in like three days. So that's yet more fun I don't get to have. Great. Ah, well, let's see if uh, Phil's box can numb the pain. Where? Oh God, I see knockoffs. Oh, I see many a knockoff. Too few, please find and close some older KOs and a pack of chili sweets I currently cannot get enough of. Oh God. I've been a long-term viewer of your vids. It's brill that you don't worry about being the first person to review the newest toy that's been acquired from the factory. Tell that to Tough Trailer. <laughs> oh, cheers, Phil, I appreciate it. Please say higher, specifically higher, 
to Sharon. Hiya, Sharon. That ain't Shazza. <laughs> what is this show? <laughs> Oh God, look at this. What a load of crap. Wow. Okay. This is a knockoff, even smaller version of MicroMaster Devastator. The old uh, build team six builder, is it? They're even smaller than normal. Slusher car. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, we don't get to have any bad translation fun. It's all in Japanese. Look at this. I think this is pretty close to the original six builder colors but I don't recognize this mold at all. That's the uh, tiny bone crusher lad. He plugs into the bum end, bum crusher, hey. But this just looks like a shitty fake one. Oh, so many, no oh, it's six liner. I've got the real one of this, train and breeze. It is in the correct colors, but it's got some uh, erroneous stickering that I don't recognize and some kind of battleship. Isn't that a GoBot? That is, I'm I'm pretty sure that's a GoBot. Oof, that's a new genre of stuff. Transformer knockoff featuring a GoBot knockoff. So can we assume that this one's a GoBot as well? Or a Minicon? I don't know. Heaven knows. Oh, it's a, God, there's, we've got like every combiner in here. Ah, it's actual firefight um. I had this one. This is the very one. Wow, what a very specific kind of nostalgia this is giving me. The movability share, it can turn 90. The rise. Ford and we have a miniature version of uh, Recon Water. It never ends, does it? It, make, it makes you wonder how many varieties of the same shite there is. Tiny, uh, who's, that's, that's Air Raid, isn't it? Look, look at his tiny wheels. They're so small. Why is that tickling me? Oh, too cute to destroy. Uh, what do we have? Is this what I think? Yeah, it's an, it's the same thing, but a Bruticus. Ooh, that's actually kind of cool. It's like Ruination, but all jazzed up with the uh, fancy stickers and so on. I sort of love that emblem in the middle. Look at that, that's like, um, reminds me of God of War. Like a flower blooming to reveal the seed of evil. You gotta make your own fun with these things. So his name is Ad Hoc Fighter. He is paid by the hour. And check it, he's got all the same uh, bad translations as the lad from that one beatdown. Sek Pumdari, Panzer Packer, that's a new one. <laughs> Copter, but it's a Jeep. And Tugging Gun. Oh, baby. Ah, oh, okay, yes, right. Confirm, confirmation. On Fallmobile here. <laughs> that is the um, Six Wing, MicroMaster Six Wing with uh, a knockoff GoBots water walk. Horrific. How and or why? Why does it exist? And one of those goddamn knockoff, it's come away from the card. But it's another one of these goddamn knockoff devastators. I've got three of these now. <laughs> Must think of some uh, inventive ways to dispatch of them. Oh god, so thanks Phil, this is <laughs> quite the bounty of bootleg bollocks. I uh, can't get them back in the box. And we also have a, um, what did he say this was? Beast Wars Second Thrust. Cool. Is this one of the, uh, one of the cyber jets? God, that's so neat. He's like, like a little sunstorm. Tiny Predacon sunstorm. Marvelous Japanese packaging, man. It's just so much more dynamic. I never get sick of Japanese packaging and they just don't care about how many fonts they use. Jesus Christ. They always have the stern looking final, is that the actual Final Fantasy font? And just numbers and exclamation points. Who cares, man? Just come and get it. It's a cool toy, way. I never tire. Uh, a bag of Chili candy, are we gonna do it? My mouth's watering. Color coded for severity. Let's do a couple, come on. Ooh, smell pretty good actually. Uh, start with the dark green one, cause those are the uh, the baby version. Wish me luck. Mm, just a jelly bean with a bit of a kick. So there's two kind of yellow ones. So this is somewhere in the middle. It's like a chickpea, didn't it? Or a bit of corn. I'm just gonna treat it like it's a corn. Mm, the flavor's good. Mm, kind of invigorating. Oh, they're kind of tasty. They, they are spicy. Should I be doing like a YouTube react? Oh no, my mouth's on fire. Oh, call the firefighter. Um, and the <coughs> mm. I'm okay. And that I think is the max level one. Come on, let's have it. <coughs> oh, mmm. Ah. Ah. A bit of an afterbite there, yeah. There it is, and it's gone. Okay, remember to like, 
Yeah, that's a kind of fun. All right, cheers, Phil. Friggin' Beast Wars second thrust and a bunch of bullshit. Yay! <laughs> that's my kind of box. Ooh. And to see us off tonight, we have a large box from the Home Depot. Uh, this has come from Shane DePayne in California. Excellent name. Uh, it's pretty hefty, and it says there's 10 toys in here. And it does feel rather meaty. Mm, still got that flavor in there. It, I just feel like I've eaten a pepperami, you know? Like, it's still in there. I can remember it. I've got neck memory. Okay. So what has Mr. DePain packed? Dear Theory, I have been watching your videos since MP10 Black Convoy. I hate how I look in that video, because like, I had one mustache, which I hate. I, d I don't like how it looks or feels on me. And like my hair was all fluffy and feathery and I had like a work shirt on. What? Who was I? Who was that guy? Just wanted to give my thanks for years of great content that I can get excited for whenever I see them in my subscription feed. Oh, my ego. Mm. As well as being one of my inspirations for me to create my own videos for this lovable dumpster fire of a website, isn't it though? So that's so uh, Shane DePayne 3991. Contents of this box are things I no longer have room for in my collection. I hope you can find them a good home. Ah, uh, you got it, buddy. One way or the other, they'll find somewhere safe. Yes, nice one, Shane. This feels great. So what are we doing? Oh. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> okay. That is a G1 mind wipe. Oh, mate, what a clunky old jack off that is. God, isn't he great, though? What a mess. So how does this... I'm guessing it just goes like this. Uh, I've never actually transformed one of these before. Did I do good? Did I do you proud, daddy? Right, so that's going to be the front. So that, I guess, goes like this. Oof, that's some thunky clicks. Look at his grid head. He looks like a, like a wireframe model. Ah, there he is. Voroth, isn't it? Oh no, he's got no face! <laughs> God, that's kind of scary, actually. That's like Voss. Where my face? God, isn't he perfect, though? Just black, purple, bit of yellow, bit of silver. Touch of poopy brown. Now, that's weird. I would expect with Mind Wipe that his intelligence would be really high. I would at least swap around these two. I don't know. I don't see him as being a guy with nine strength. Maybe his intelligence took a hit after the head wound. I don't flip it, no. Yeah! Nice one, Shane. That reminds me, I was talking to the Mapeses at, um, I think, Roll Out Roll Call. They've got the Mind Wipe that they actually used in the photos on the box. Like, those guys have got some legendary stuff, man. All prototypes and that. Anyway, what else do we have? Ooh, we have uh, a Target Master Fella, or most of one. Who's that? Don't know, is that the guy from, like, maybe Slug Slinger or, uh, or uh, Trigger Happy? I don't know. Hey, Cybertron Backstop, the old Rhino fellow. God, he's marvelous. I always think he's, uh, I think he's a Rhinox, but he's not. I could be forgiven for mistaking him for a Rhinox. He looks just like the Transmetal one. It's that McDonald's Panther fellow. <laughs> Best Transformer content on YouTube. Who is in here? Oh. Oh. Ow. <laughs> that appears to be flipping Fall of Cybertron Ultra Magnus. Jesus, I love Magnus's colors. Just that white and the deep blue and the red. It, it just never doesn't work. Come on, you. Hey, there he is. All right. Now, this is the kind of... Ultra Magnus as Optimus Prime repaint, I can totally get behind. Because it's not just Optimus Prime but white. It's like actually Magnus. It's blue, it's got his special head. What is not to love? A deluxe class Ultra Magnus. Is he the only one there's ever been? Probably not. I always just assume that when I see something I haven't seen before, I go, oh, it's the only one there's ever been ever in my life ever. Na 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 Couple of... The G1, boys. This looks familiar. That is a, a G1 cutthroat. He's a touch dutty. Yay. <laughs> Gosh, what an absolutely perfect robot. No kibble, no silhouette. Ah, oh, Man, it's easy to be like, well, that's the one that only looks good from the front, isn't it? But then, like, it doesn't even look good from the front. <laughs> like, what are these legs? What are these pathetic arms? God, he's terrible. I love it. Cutthroat, cutthroat. Control. And we have a Carnivac, all right. Carnivac Sans Shell. Ooh, a mysterious shadowy item. Like with Carnivac and Cutthroat, I could tell right away what it was. But this, I don't know, it's like a, like it's frozen in a tomb. Oh, it's because it literally is some just mysterious black shapes. Yeah, this is Rock Lords. And this fella, hey, hang on, hang on. This is, um, what is it? They had, they've got, he's got little tiny magnets. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that is a Starcom boy, isn't it? Yeah, look at him with his little inverted Triforce. That's excellent. God, I did used to have the Starcoms. Was it the bomber? I got him at a secondhand thing. It had like a little spinning bomb thing and you had magnet bombs and they'd drop and it had like a giant cockpit at the front and then halfway back, 
there was like another one and it'd go Boo! like that. But it was brilliant. And now I've got a little man who lives sideways. I'll pop him on the fridge. And these rock lords, I believe this is granite. Look at his little hairline. I think rock lords are the only thing where like I have infinite early life affection for them, but also I don't think they ever need to come back. Because they're just bricks. They're, they're, they just literally are a brick that turns into a vaguely man-shaped thing. Uh, this is, I think, Sticks and Stones. Yeah, weren't these voiced by the Welker and the Cullen? Am I remembering that right? One's purple, one's red, it's gotta be true. If it's not, then I'm making it true in my head. I'm creating my own Berenstein Bears splinter universe. Cullen, Welker, Greg Berger, why not? That's how it happened now. Uh, I'm gonna estimate there's more than 10 things in here, you know. This, my friends, is a toy. I never had the proper one. I briefly had a giant knockoff of it, but I never actually owned animated Optimus Prime. The Voyager version, hell yeah. Let's see if I can remember from the knockoff how this works. God, that was a long time ago. Share air 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 Superb. Come on, come on. I've, I've got to give this a try. Come on. Whoops. <laughs> oh no. It's like a TIE fighter, doesn't it? Um. Oh, yeah, there it goes. There it goes. Ooh, that didn't sound like how it was supposed to work. <laughs> Ooh, there he is. Brilliant. Animated Voyager Optimus Prime. Good Christ. He's got the old mouth plate thing. There you go. It's all coming back. I'm listening to TFW talk about power core combiners again, playing Katamari Damacy. That's what year it is now. <laughs> Something else. Any whomst, we have a G1 Snap Trap. Yes. Kill Trumpet himself. Good God, he's rather, rather yellowed. So I'm guessing this isn't the reissue. Oh wow, the original, the definitive article. Actual snap trap. There's something quite cool about him, isn't there? Big dopey turtle thing. Bringing G1 Blastoise. Right, it's like a big turtle monster with two huge guns in its shell. It's gotta be something there, right? Unless they're both based off of some folklore creature, I don't know. <laughs> but it just seems too specific a thing not to be connected. Does that work? Oh, Jesus Christ. Not really. But we have snap trap along with uh, is this Nautilator? Wait, Nautilator Skate, it's not Scalor, it's not Sea Wing. It's not Overbite. Oh God, I don't know. I think it is Nautilator. Yeah, I, th I think it is. I we'll go with it anyway. It's Nautilator, you. God, I rolled out my old Nautilator joke on Valentine's Day again. Did a little post on Facebook and that. I was just like, let's get Nautilator. I will never stop making that joke. It's a quality joke. The secret, they're so doofy, these things. Look at all that kibble, come on. His head's not even on his body. <laughs> it's kind of behind his shoulders. Oh, whatever, there's something cool about them. They have a, they have a thing. Cheeky nose cone, yes mate. Could probably make a combiner with these few components. Nose cone, nautilator, cutthroat, and snap trap. Just need one more. Bunch of box stuff as well in here. God, it never ends. Flipping, ooh, I don't think I've seen this one before. Autobot Daredevil Squad. Ooh, that's kind of cool. So you've got Bumblebee in like a cool stealth silvery deco, which I don't believe I've ever seen before. Green windows and silver paint, that's banging. Backfire I'm completely unfamiliar with. Cool little robot. And uh, a Shia LaBeouf whom I hope has magnet boots or I'll be very disappointed. God, there's so much stuff I'd forgotten about from the movies. Uh, I did realize this morning actually that I'd forgotten to say cheers to uh, Uncle Marcellus for chucking his Battle Blade Bumblebee, because I forgot to say it at the end of the Bumblebee video, sorry. But uh, yeah, that was a Prezi from Uncle Marcellus. All the years ago. So thank you mate if you're still watching. Oh, check it out. We have um, Whirl from Human Alliance. I did have this one briefly, but I got rid of him because he's got those, uh, the three mil clip cannons that I kept one of those. And I can't remember what happened. I think he got cleared out when I was having a house clearing sesh. But now I have a little more space. I think he can stick around this time. Nice one. Oh yeah, that's right. He got like a sort of awkward robot mode. Cool G.I. Joe vehicle mode for a little guy. And also a giant cannon mode. That's brilliant. Uh, and a further backfire. <laughs> is this the same guy who's in the um, in the Bumblebee set? It is, it's the same guy. Different deco, but the same guy. Flippin' heck. Heavens above, proper little uh, nobody's task force there. And we have Star Wars Black Series. Admiral Akbar. R.I.P. And generic First Order Man. I'm gonna go ahead and pretend that's the Adrian Edmondson one. Doesn't look anything like it. It looks more like uh, Adrian Brody. You can see here the plans of the Death Star. That's my Admiral Akbar, it's quite good, isn't it? And general purpose, that guy. All right then. 
<laughs> Thank you, mate. Very rarely do Star Wars stuff. And last for today, we've got another non-transformery thing. It's Gypsy Danger. Oh my God, he's got the uh, the boat, that giant tanker ship that he uses like a baseball bat. Brilliant. It's the Necker one. These are supposed to be all right, aren't they? Tacit Ronin, who's that? Romeo Blue? I don't recognize these nobodies. Wait, was Romeo Blue the one from the, from the beginning of uh, Uprising? No, 2014, probably not then. No idea. <laughs> Either way, that's pretty sweet. Thank you, mate. God, everyone loves Pacific Rim, don't they? I rewatched it the other day on Blue Ray, it looks amazing. It's so dumb, I love it. <laughs> but it's like so involved in its own world and it completely believes in itself. So you totally buy in. And like so much of the character stuff is pretty weak, but the robot stuff is just so good. There's nothing like it, man. Superb. This has not been opened. Confirmed this is 100% sealed. Because why would you buy the Gypsy Danger with his arm off? That's not cool. Unless you were doing like a diorama, I don't know. Do what you want, who cares? What do I care? Oh God, that's more stuff than I was anticipating. <laughs> Okay, so Shane Depayne, what a ledge. Uh, Shane Depayne, 3991, I remembered. Bit worn out from getting excited about things. Oh, flip. Woo, so cheers for joining me for this anyway. This has been a treat. I'll be back very shortly with a brand new review that you can stick up your laptop or your telly or your telephone. And until such time occurs, I definitely recommend taking it easy for me. You gonna take it easy for me? Yeah, yeah. All right, now don't let me down. Random patron shout out! Oh look, I shaved my head just for this, honest. But yes, big love this episode to longtime supporter AL Strats. Thanks for everything, my friend. See you soon. Be sure to subscribe for more Thew's Awesome Transformers reviews. Limited appeal, keeping it real.